Hi guys. Good morning. It's Alwanza. Thank you for returning to another reading of the Good News Daily. And today, the title of our lesson is The Power of Your Words. <clears throat> and the text comes from 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Wow. The prophets tell us using your mouth rightly is a vital key that unlocks the blessings of salvation in your life. In our scripture for today, the apostle Peter tells us in 1 Peter 3 and 10, the New Living Translation, if you want to enjoy life and see many happy days, keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Wow. So it's like, stop talking about people as well as um, just telling the truth. The truth is life. <laughs> the truth is life. And talking about people is death. Through your tongue, though your tongue is small, it controls everything in your life. There's no situation you can't change. If only you make your tongue your own tree of life by declaring God's word over your life and situation. So even using our tongue to speak life over our situation. So not what, what it may look like or whatever is going on. It's just simple just to say the outcome that you're looking for, that you want, that you expect. To say what God says about you. To say what God says about the situation. Like a big example is our health. If the doctor says one thing, well, we just speak what God says about our health, that we are whole and that we are healed. And through our faith and by our faith, we are made whole. So that is how you counteract words that are spoken over you. Just speak and say things that um, God said. And then he's like, well, I don't know what God says about the situation. Well, is it good? Can you think of anything good to say? Then that is what God is saying. Say something good. That is life. That is prosperous. That is health. So let's continue to see what the prophets say. Your mouth wasn't given to you merely for eating and drinking. Its greater use is for controlling your life. You were, you're where you are today because of what you said yesterday. You can be anything you want to be, have anything you want to have, and achieve anything you want to achieve within God's perfect will. The key is in controlling your life with your tongue. And that's something, controlling your life. If you don't like the way your life is, start speaking other things about it that you do want or that you do see or that you do believe. Those, that is how we put our time to use to work for us. So we're now down to the prophetic declaration. And this is where we declare good words over our life. So I'm going to say it out loud and you repeat after me. I speak life into my future. Everything that I said from now onwards is based on God's word concerning me in Jesus name. Everything that we say from now onwards, it is only what God says. What he says about us, what he said about us in his word, what he's now saying about us, our current situations, it's only life. It's only life. And <laughs> to further study is actually to meditate on this word. Just take the scripture and continue reading. All right? So, our lesson, our text today was 1 Peter 3 and 10. For he that will love life, you love life and see good days. And you want to see good days? You're tired of bad days? Let him refrain his tongue from evil. Cursing, bad mouthing, backbiting, talking about people behind their back, um, pulling out the negative or speaking the bad things that you see around you or others gossiping and it says and his lips that they speak no guile mm -hmm. and his lips that they speak no guile so no bad mouthing nothing negative and that's our lesson that's our word for today so until next video next time guys thanks for tuning in this is alawanza signing out peace